Welcome to the Before Talkie Podcast here at Pitti Umo 2024. It's January, it's cold outside. I'm here with House by Everton. He's going to tell us about his footwear brand. It's actually very interesting and very colorful. A new take on something we don't really consider as a statement accessory or a statement piece. You want to tell us about it? Yeah, so basically the concept came about um, during the pandemic when my girlfriend didn't like the look of my feet. So <laughs> I know. The person TMI on that one, you know? know. <laughs> so she basically had said, you know, go out and get some slippers or wear some socks. I'm like, whatever, woman. You know, I, I can't ignore her a minute. But then decided, you know, well, let me go downtown and check out some shoes. So my first stop was at a dollar store. And I bought a pair, but they were so uncomfortable. So I decided to go back downtown again. And I went to the main stores, you know, in Toronto. And I didn't like anything that I saw there. You know, yeah, there were the Prada, the Gucci, and, you know, the big name brands. Right. But they didn't fit my aesthetics or my comfort, you know. So then later on, I, I purchased two pairs of shoes from Japan. They looked really nice in the pictures, but again, it didn't fit very well. So I said to myself, being in the business for 30 years, I can design my own shoes. So I looked at the concept of making shoes or slippers. And I looked at um, Japan as an inspiration. Then I looked at the School of Bauhaus for design. I um, love Bauhaus. And, yeah. Yes. Um, Pete Mendrin was, um, was also an inspiration when it come, came to my prints. And then from there, I wanted to make something that is comfortable. Didn't come across as being too granola or right. mom pa, but something that I can wear outside. Um, it's fashionable, sustainable, and comfortable. You know, so yeah, right. you know, and also I want colors. Colors are so important in my day to day life that I want something you it's easy to recognize when mm-hmm. you walk in the street without a big label on it. Right. You know, so yeah. Yeah. Wait, is, is, what collection is this? Is this so, your first? So this collection here is um, AW24. Yeah. How many collections have you made? So this is my second collection. We started out, we launched um, last season. Um, July 19th, we launched. Really? And, yep. Oh, we did a first launch. Yeah. Uh, the line is obviously is unisex for men and for women, right? Mm-hmm. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. When I first started that, I was really focusing on the men's collection. And then um, a couple of my clients had said, no, we want women as well, too. You know, I'm like, really? So, yeah. So I decided to add women to the collection as well. Oh, that's really good to hear. Mm-hmm. All right, let me ask you something. Where's the material source? It's from so, uh, sustainable so, material. Yeah, so everything is made in Portugal. Right. Um, but prior to that, I was looking at countries such as um, Brazil, Mexico, um, Japan, Italy, China, and Portugal. After going through all those countries, Portugal seemed like the ideal place to get the stuff done, right. you know? That's a good idea. Okay. Yeah. Shout out to the Portuguese. Now, tell <laughs> us about the colors. So the colors, so I basically, colors are important in the collection because it gives that um, uniqueness about um, my brand. Because when I look at the market as a whole, I just see very neutral colors. Right. And I wanted colors to be a big part of my collection or part of the DNA of the collection. Um, so I look at the color palette for this season, which is quite wide, and I just pick what makes sense for my season. Oh, yeah. very good. Now, uh, final question. Where can we buy your shoes? Right now, because I'm still relatively new in the marketplace, I don't have a lot of stores on a global scale, but I do have some stores in Toronto or in Canada and also online. Where online? You can go to www.housebyeverton.com. <laughs> and wait, do you ship internationally? Yes, we do. Yes, That's we do. If I'm in London, I'm in Berlin, or if I'm in we ship Tokyo, wor- we ship worldwide. We ship worldwide, yeah. no problem. No problem. Oh, wait, and what size is it? I mean, I guess the regular size Yeah, so the is- sizes start from 36 for women up to 47. Yeah. All right, so mm-hmm. that's no problem at mm-hmm. all. Anything else? Um, yeah, I think the best, what to take away from this um, discussion here is the style and the comfortability of the of the slippers. Oh my God, they're amazing, you know? And I'm not just to my own horn, but it was part of the DNA when creating the brand. It has to be comfortable because my feet are very sensitive and I need comfort when I'm walking. 
Well, your girlfriend, <laughs> uh, you know, kind of an uncomfortable moment that inspired a footwear brand. <laughs> That's correct. That's correct. <laughs> but hey, who, we can't, who complains about the source of inspiration? Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. <laughs>